Beer and sporting events seem to go together, especially in the advertising world. Coors is a big sponsor of professional football and promotes itself as the official beer of NASCAR racing. So it is no surprise that this new Coors commercial uses the setting of baseball to promote their product. This ad is primarily about male fantasy. When touching the glass of Coors Light, each of the three men sees a vision. One is downhill skiing, another is in a bar, and the third guy sees a beautiful woman who throws him a kiss and leaves him with a can of Coors beer. The first two guys also see this last male fantasy and quickly request a Coors Light as well. After the company inserts its tagline, the male fantasy continues when a woman in the stands throws a kiss to the same guy who was kissed by a woman in his vision. Because as we all know, strange women are always throwing kisses to men in public places. What seems like a commercial that is selling beer is really a commercial that is normalizing male fantasy and male privilege. This is not anything new for the Coors Brewing Company. Through their financial support, Joseph Coors and other family members have bankrolled a right-wing agenda of union busting, homophobia, sexism, racism, and covert operations, including funding the brutal Contra forces in Nicaragua in the 1980s. Because Coors has supported right-wing campaigns, there have been organized boycotts of Coors beer for years, sometimes led by organized labor, the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered community, and more recently, the civil rights group BAM, since Coors funded the campaign in Michigan to get rid of affirmative action in 2006. For more information on Coors, see Russ Ballant's book, The Coors Connection, or go to the website of BAM.com. We're going to do a little media literature here, exercises and discussion about the function and role of media and how we understand ourselves in the world with the emphasis obviously in looking at um, how the alcohol industry in particular targets you. And that's the language that they use. Um, they see you as a target audience. Of trying, they're always trying to figure out ways to convince you that um, alcohol is not only attractive, it's, uh, it's a useful product, uh, maybe make you even a little bit sexy. Um, after seeing the um, different media techniques that they use, I think alcohol companies, like you really see how they try to put subliminal messages in and send different messages to customers that you wouldn't know before that they were doing that. Why do you don't? So I don't want to end up in prison next to my brother. Oh. Probably one of the biggest things for me is that I've seen um, what drugs can do to people. I have an older brother who is currently serving time in prison because of a drug offense and I don't want to live my life that way. I want to be able to reach my goals and go to college and be successful and drugs can really mess that up. Why I did not choose to be in, do drugs and that kind of stuff is because I've seen what they've done because my if people in my family do them and it's pointless and it ruins your life. One of the projects we've been working on since the beginning of June is to revitalize our I Don't Social Norming campaign and we did that by having a two-day event, if you will, where we had the kids participate in a training on media literacy in the morning and then in the afternoon they had a chance to develop their own uh, public service announcement campaign ideas. It was very exciting to see how one idea just took off and I, I'm just thrilled with the end result. The idea was that each of the youth would demonstrate what they have a passion for in terms of activities and hobbies and then they would simply turn to the camera and say I don't to get across a message that most kids don't use alcohol and drugs. So the second day was filming and a couple things that I thought were very exciting is one of our boys is a bowler. He was able to get a strike and turn to the camera and gave his I don't. I don't. Uh, we had some kids join us that day that we didn't know were coming and I thought, oh, what are they going to do? And by the time we got from the bowling alley to the school where we were filming, 
they were all set to go in costume, had their ideas down, and really unique, cute ideas. To do or not to do? We don't. Can I help you? Well, we see all these kids around us doing drugs, and we want to stay away from that. So, how can we stay away from it? Well, let me see if I can help you with my predictor checker. Hmm. Friendships in life. They can be a good support group for you in times of trouble. Education is important, too. It opens many opportunities for, like, scholarship, which leads to a good career. That makes sense. And if you're involved in extracurricular activities, you'll gain important skills such as teamwork. So what if we see someone taking drugs or bringing them to school? You need to tell someone right away or you can come to me. But the good thing to stay out of trouble is to bundle all three of these policies together at once. I'm so proud of you guys for wanting to do the right thing. By the way, where can I get one of those predictor checker thingies? It's a bonus, it comes with my name tag.